I'm Stephen Lowe. I'm Bishop for Urban Life and Faith for the Church of England. Uh, what does a Bishop for Urban Life and Faith do? Well, after the Church of England published its uh, report, Faithful Cities, the Archbishops of Canterbury and York asked me to go full-time as the Bishop responsible for developing the Church of England's involvement with urban mission and ministry and, in a sense, developing our work in the towns and cities across the land. I think part of the task has been to try and answer the question, what makes a good town or city? and the sort of thing that's happening today in Norwich is a very real witness to the church's contribution to that debate. So what are you doing here in Norwich? Well I'm here um, to share in the whole vision for the future of Norwich and uh, and to witness to the fact that the Christian church's contribution to this city and to the communities around Norwich is very substantial indeed, not only in terms of the traditional church life, but intact to their service in all sorts of ways, from drug addiction to pros- work with prostitutes, to street pastors, um, uh, to people working with motorbikes and the uh, YMCA, the big organisation, to the small organisation, and today illustrates in all sorts of ways the variety of that work. So you can move from the Salvation Army on the one hand um, to the Men's Fellowship on the other uh, to see different aspects of the way in which the church manages to meet people in different aspects of their lives. And um, one of the things that we're trying to do here in Norwich is try and get to work with the city council. We've got a a city-church dialogue. Uh, Do you think that sort of thing is important? It's vital. Um, There's no doubt in my mind that the the action is changing big time over the next year or two. Um, It's quite clear that we are facing a major economic financial crisis, whoever is in power in a year's time. Um, there will be major cuts in public expenditure. All the political parties, all the three main political parties, are committed to trying to make sure that welfare services are done much more in the third sector, which includes the churches, rather than by statutory agencies. So there's an immense challenge to us. What do we do to make ourselves better equipped to respond to that, or indeed should we be? And those questions are very much around as part of the debate that I'm hearing people talking about at the moment because some of the organisations are already caught up in that contracting culture, others having to face up to it, and they are very big questions for um, the churches and uh, Christian organisations who could be involved in this world. So the partnership with local authorities is vital, but they have to respond in a better way towards us as part of that partnership. So if you were talking to the churches in Norwich, what would your challenge to them be? Make sure you're thinking through um, how you're going to make yourselves fit to enter such partnerships if you want to. How you can both preserve your values and what you're about, um, but also recognise if you're going to receive public money, which some of them are already doing, how you're going to be accountable for the use of that money in a way which responds to the needs of the local authorities. So it's no good, for example, opening up the fourth... Uh, lunch club in one community when there may be three others already funded by the local authority expecting the local authority to pay for the fourth one as well you know that isn't on you've got to work with them at identifying needs and seeing how you as a church can respond effectively to those needs